All right, everybody, welcome back to Fortnite Battle Royale. Today, we're going to be talking about how to build better and faster in Fortnite Battle Royale. Now, I know a lot of you maybe already know how to build fast, already know how to build well, but I think anybody could use some improvement, and even if you are pretty good at the game, you could always use a refresher. Remember as well, next week we're still giving away one free season four battle pass to one lucky viewer. All you gotta do for your chance to win, drop a like on the video, comment down below, and make sure you're subscribed. Now, without further ado, let's get right into it. First things first, before you ever step foot on the battlefield, I need you to come over here to the settings tab of your Fortnite game because this is where you're really gonna get the most bang for your buck and as you can see I personally because I make YouTube videos I want the the video to look as good as possible I use epic resolution on a lot of these except for shadows I have shadows turned off if you truly just want the best game performance possible mess around with these a little bit okay look at them you know read the uh, you know on the right hand side it'll tell you um, which setting to use for best performance most of the time it'll just be the uh, the lowest one. I have V-Sync off, motion blur off, and I like to show my FPS so it tells me whenever um, I'm getting low frames per second. Other than that, we're gonna go over here and look at our key binding settings because this also is gonna play a big role in how you build. Now, if you're playing on um, console, if you're playing on Xbox or PS4, I'm gonna want you to Yes, do what's ever comfortable, but they did add in a few different controller configurations for you. I would try Builder Pro. I've taken a look at that and I've heard people that play consoles say Builder Pro is probably the way to go. So switch on over to that. Even if you've been using something else for a long time, it's going to take a little bit to get used to. But in the long run, it's going to make you better. First things first, get that right. Builder Pro if you're on console. Now, if you're like me and you're playing on PC, look. I know people that use the normal F1, F2, F3 for their wall, floor, and stairs, um, respectively. Me, I'm not a keyboard mouse native. I came from console too, so I needed keys that, uh, you know, were just closer to my hands, you know, so I didn't really have to move my hands from WASD. So me personally, and this is just preference, but I want you guys to go in and just experiment with this. For the wall, I use Q. For the floor, I use G, and for stairs, I use F. That way, everything is only one or two keys away from where uh, my hand already is when I'm just running around playing the game, so I don't have to use anything. And then roof, honestly, I hardly ever use that. I just use wall, floor, and stairs. Uh, roof is F4. I, I don't think I've ever built a roof. Ever. So you don't really need it. And then trap I have on T. But you can experiment with this also. You don't have to use Q, G, and F. Use whatever's comfortable for you. But make sure you can just get to those keys quickly. And that's going to help you out, man. All right, let's hop into the game. I'm going to show you all how to not suck so much. Okay, so we're in game now. I actually kind of need to get to the safe zone, I think, which is close to Dusty Divot. That's not going to be fun. So I'm going to have to do this like in a few different games, I think. But as you can see, I have 663 wood. Uh, make sure you have enough materials all the time. Uh, you can never have too many. Don't sell yourself short on that because you may need them if you get into a building battle um, with somebody who actually knows how to build. And once again, we're going to start basic and move into some more advanced tactics later on in the video. If you guys already know this basic stuff, you can skip on. But for people that need some help and just, uh, you know, remembering the, the basics... This is for you, man. So, first things first, you're running through a field, you know, you see somebody maybe at that tree, y'all lock eyes, and then it's on. What's the first thing that you do? Well, you could just start shooting at them, um, I guess. A lot of people's first reaction is just to build this, or even, I see a lot of people do this, just try to build this, and that is totally wrong. That's not what you wanna do. You gotta remember at all times, height advantage, is what you want. You want height advantage, but you also don't want that person to be able to easily shoot out your base. So what you gotta do is not just build a single ramp towards them like this. You wanna double ramp it. You always gotta double ramp. That way, uh, the person has to shoot out two ramps in order to break you down and get you back on the ground. And by the time they start shooting at one base, you know, you could just pop up and, um, and kill them. So if you see somebody, all you gotta do is just build these pieces right next to each other all the way up now all of a sudden they have to shoot out two pieces and boom by the time they start shooting you're up here you know you're wailing down on them while they're shooting at your base and they're dead 
easy kill. Now, also a little more advanced, if you wanna make it even harder for somebody to shoot out your base, you can build a single ramp towards them, but make sure you're also building a wall on the outside of it, so it looks a little bit like this. That way, they have to shoot this outside wall piece, and they also have to shoot down your base. You just don't want them to be able to shoot it out and get you on the ground. That's the main focus of uh, building the ramps. And then if you're playing, if you know you're going up against somebody who can really uh, play the game, a pretty foolproof way to make sure you're not going to get shot out is you just combine those two ideas, right? You do the two ramps, but then you also build the bases underneath it or build the walls underneath it. So it would look something like that. Um, obviously that's going to be a, a little bit tougher to do in real time, but it does work really well. Ain't nobody shooting that shit out. You can see I messed it up a little bit, but for the most part, I mean, that's a, uh, that's a lot of building right there. And that was in the span of maybe like 10 seconds. So try to get height advantage and try to make sure that they can't easily shoot out your wall and ramp pieces and get you back on the ground into the fight. That's step one. Okay. So you got your key bindings set where you want them. You've learned how to double ramp. That way people can't shoot out your base from underneath you. Now let's talk about what happens when you're face to face with somebody. Maybe you've already built ramps up towards them and now you got to try to fight for the height advantage. What do you do? You'll see a lot of people when they get into fights, it looks very confusing because it's happening quickly. It's happening by two different people and you don't know what's going on, but keep it keeping it very basic. I mean, there are some more advanced moves, but mainly what people are trying to do is just build this one piece right here. If you are up on a ramp or whatever, you know, say you got your wall under there and you see somebody building, you know, maybe they're perpendicular to you. They're building this way. All you have to do to give yourself cover and height advantage is build a wall and build a ramp and jump on actually jump on it not build it the other way and sometimes what you will have to do and what might make it a little bit easier is if you build the wall and then build a floor to stand on and then build a ramp you don't have to do it super quick right you don't have to do it all in one motion like that but you know the faster you are at it the better but as soon as you do that boom you just went up one story and you can automatically peek down here you have cover you don't want to just jump off the ramp use it as a head glitch and uh you know try to get your your shotgun kill or whatever and if they continue to build that's all you do maybe you just build it up to the other side so boom just like that you already got another story um up and that's that's mainly all you have to build during a build fight you can make it crazier Right? You can start building like flat pieces. If you want to move closer to them, you could do something like that. But at the end of the day, you're just uh, falling to your death like me a lot. <laughs> Look, I even to this day still fall to my death a bunch. So <clears throat> maybe take what I say with a grain of salt. But I know that that's what people are mainly trying to do is just get the height advantage, build a wall up, build a ramp and uh, jump while you're building it. And boom, you automatically have height advantage on them. Now you're good to go. But say that doesn't work. Okay, say maybe Maybe you make a mistake while you're building what do you do because that's gonna happen right especially you know when the, when the stakes are high say you've been playing forever recording a video or something maybe you're streaming you're in the top 10 uh, you're gonna you're gonna get a little nervous when you get into a build fight that's fine this is where the editing key comes into play right you're gonna have to edit your mistakes and do it very quickly and it may actually work out to your benefit um, in the long run you never know so say instead of uh, you know say you built your ramp up and you were trying to do this and you tried to build a floor right but then you accidentally built a roof above you too what, I mean what are you gonna do at this point now you're stuck they have height advantage what can you possibly do well if you're fast as shit you can try to go to the edit feature move that and then keep going right so you got to do that real quick though like you accidentally build this you're like oh shit just get out and then do that and boom there you go now you're free and it also works vice versa if you're above somebody so you don't want to build just to build okay i used to be guilty of doing this you just want to spam building you're finally getting decent at it and you just want to build walls and one by ones and double ramps you're just feeling good that's not really what you want to do if you see somebody and you can just build you know this and come down you got height advantage and kill them just kill them just kill him. You don't want to go to the sky unless you're really trying to practice. Um, you don't want to try to go to the sky. So what do you do if you got height advantage on somebody, but one of your pieces is in the way? It's very simple. Say you're up like this. Why the fuck are my pieces doing that? Uh, can we Yeah, do it like this? So say you're above them, right? You've, you've built, they've got ramps underneath you and they're just standing there like a 
shit on a stick. I don't, <laughs> I don't know what they would be standing there like. Um, all you gotta do is edit your piece, right? So I need a gun, there we go. All you have to do, edit it, boom, pull out your shotgun. That piece disappeared, but you know what I mean. There's gonna be pieces that they're building that are connected to yours, so not they're not all gonna just disappear like that. There we go, we'll do it like that. Say they're trapped under there and you don't wanna, you know, fight them. Let's fucking edit this real quick. What do you do? They're trapped. Boom, do it like that. They're not gonna be expecting it. You shotgun them in the face. That's game over. So as soon as you get the height advantage, start looking at pieces to edit. That way you can uh, stop building because look, you fight somebody for too long, there's gonna be other people in the game that hear you fighting and they're gonna be coming. So the higher you go, the more likely it is that you're about to, getting text and shit. The more likely it is that you're about to uh, get knocked down, right? Somebody's gonna be shooting a grenade launcher or rockets or somebody's down there just pickaxing the bottom of your base like an idiot and that's just, that's not what you wanna see, man. So, once again, make sure your key bindings are what you want them to be, something that's comfortable. Don't just build single pieces. If you're gonna build single pieces, make sure you put walls underneath it, but the best you can do is this right here, the double ramps with this, and then you come over and I'm out of building materials <laughs> oh man so make sure you're double ramping the main piece you want to learn how to build right here boom boom get the height advantage move up that's all you gotta do and as soon as you get the height advantage on somebody that's when you learn to edit they're not gonna be expecting it good players will but 95 percent of the people you run into they're gonna be sitting there confused as to you know what they're supposed to do at that point because there's a, a piece right in their face so edit that get rid of it shotgun them in the head make sure your shots are good and you're gonna be good to go man those tips are gonna help you out against 99 percent of the players that you run into in fortnite and even the final one percent they're just gonna be able to do it a lot faster than you uh, at first so these are people that know these uh tactics and they use them all the time so all you have to do is uh, try to use it against them and try to use it a little bit quicker. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the uh, the tips and tricks here. I know that some of you maybe already knew all this stuff, but it's not too bad to kind of, you know, go back to the basics, refresh your memory a little bit, remember why you're building. Remember, build for a purpose. Don't just spam build because you go up against somebody good and they're just, they're, they're gonna embarrass you if, you if you don't know what you're doing. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Um, let me know in the comments below if you'd like to see some more tips and tricks, maybe on shooting. I'm definitely a better shooter than I am a builder, but shooting is a little bit uh, more difficult to explain how to do it well because it's a lot of just, I don't know, instinct and playing a lot of shooter games, I guess. But if you guys would like to see a video on that, kind of how to control the bloom a little bit, um, I can do that. Let me know in the comments. Thank you for tuning in. I'll catch you guys right back here next time on some Fortnite Battle Royale. Once again, if you did enjoy the video, be sure to leave a like if you didn't just refresh it and give it one more chance. And as always, guys, I don't really have an